I've been waiting to see some action, and dang on the coach Hugh Jackson is giving me action on the first day of the year. And when I tell you, when you get out there and recruit linemen, you want those linemen that's out there is going to have that motor that never stops. They want to get out there and continue to keep going. They're looking for somebody to block 10, 15 yards down the field, and they just aggressive, and they want that action. And guess what, Coach Hugh Jackson? You just made my new year with this new committee. We're going to get into it right about now. It's your favorite coach back at it again, 10 toes down, about to tell you how it all went down. This is Tomorrow Leader Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get all upcoming videos. For all my leaders out there, welcome back. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know the routine. If you haven't done so already, hit that notification bell so you can get all upcoming videos. And don't forget to like, comment, and share those videos as well. And also, do Coach a huge favor. Tap in a friend or two and tell them to come on in. It's nothing but positive vibes over here. We're just having a good time talking about HBCU sports. And also, guys, everybody, you can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. So without further ado, Coach going to go ahead and tap on in this thing because I know y'all like Coach. Action. Wait a minute, ain't no games going on other than the, the FBS stuff. No, huh? Coach Hugh Jackson got some action going on over there at Grambling. And if y'all ain't been play, paying close attention, y'all about to find out right about now because I'm telling you, when you have, when you have a player that comes into your program who has the last name of a Super Bowl champion, Hall of Famer, and NFL coach, and know the game inside and out, you got to have the skills to pay the bill. I'm just saying. This young man, Juwan Singletary, the nephew of Mike Singletary of the Super Bowl champions. That's right, the Monsters of the Midway, Chicago Bears. You already know when Mike Singletary was out there on the field, he understood what was going on inside and out when those plays were being ran by the opposing offenses that they played against. Those running backs on those opposing offenses, they thought they were going to get that fourth and one. But who was there to stop them? None other than Mr. Mike Singletary himself. And you already know that tutelage and that knowledge of the game, he had to pass that on to somebody. And you know he had to give it to at least his nephew. So, guys, yeah, Jawan Singletary, offensive interior lineman. Why I say interior lineman? Because of the fact that this young man plays guard, center, and tackle. That's correct, guys. He plays all three positions, and he plays them very well. This young man also plays a little defense also. He plays defensive tackle in the four-man front. So I'm just telling you, this thing that Coach Hugh Jackson got going on right now is getting ready to get a little nasty over there. I'm just telling you, are you ready for it? Yes, Jawan, 260-pound offensive slash defensive lineman. He played three games at Stephen F. Austin and then transferred over to Navarro College in uh, Texas. Now, he did play football for Westfield High School in Houston, Texas in 2019. Now he had, we are, like I said before, he had offers from Stephen A. Austin as well as Southern University and McNeese State, but he chose to go to Stephen F. Austin. Now, this young man was ranked nationally 251st, and in the state of Texas, he was ranked 40th at his position. Now, when I saw this young man film, I was like, wait a minute, what the heck is going on? You know coach love to watch film where the young man is jumping out at you on the film. And that's what this young man did. Especially if you want, hey, if you wanted them cats, them big uglies that was down in the trenches, getting that work, you had to put your hand in the dirt, and you had to do all the dirty work. You get what I'm saying? Open up those holes for the running backs to get those additional yards when it was fourth and two, fourth and three. Or you needed that first down to keep the clock moving so that you can win the game. Or better yet, you're on defense, you had to make that stop. Where, you know, you had to find a way to neutralize your opponent to get up that field and shoot through that gap to make sure that you stop that running back hole. Yeah, those guys, those guys, you know, they don't get that much love out here. But I'm here to tell you, Coach, go give it to you today. So check this out. This young man here has the ability as a pulling center. You heard me. If the young man plays guard and tackle, you already know being a pulling center is no problem. This young man has the ability as a pulling center to reach block, down block, and just make blocks to seal off the defender to make sure that the running back is able to get up the field and get those extra yards to continue to keep those chains moving. That's what it's all about. Or even break one, hey, break one and take it to the house. That's what he's always looking to do. Not to mention when he gets out there on the edge when he's pulling, he's looking for additional defenders to block downfield to keep his running back going to get what he needs out there on the field to make sure that the team is continuing to move that ball down the field and eat up that this, clock. Hey, his athleticism jumps off the charts. I mean, bar none. How many times, like I said, have you seen an offensive lineman go down the field on a punt and make the tackle? <laughs> yeah, this guy here, like I said, 
he, he gets after it. The motor just continues to keep going. He's making sure that he's able to make a play, however he can make that play out there on the field to help the team win. Now, he's going to make sure that when he hits you, he lets you know that he, he, he has arrived. He ain't just going to love tap you. He come to crack you and let you know, hey, look, next time when you see my number come down the field, you go the opposite direction. You don't come this way. You go the opposite direction and you bring your couple of your teammates with you. When you decide you want to come this want to run the ball this way, you make sure you got a couple of folks out there that's going to be able to block me because trust me, they're not going to be able to do it. I'm looking to go through them to get to you. So just understand just how it goes. But yes, Juwan, listen, Juwan Singletary ain't nothing to play with out there on that field on both sides of the ball. And like I said, if you thought he was getting off on the offensive side of the ball, he could bring the pain on the defensive side of the ball. Because like I stated before, he plays defensive tackle depending upon the front that he's in. And I'm mainly only seeing him in a four-man front. So I'm telling you, this young man is going to raise some serious eyebrows next season in the swag. This year, hey, Coach Hugh Jackson and the Grambling State coaching staff is swinging for the fences and ain't looking back. Grand fam, y'all got Coach excited over here. I keep hearing some of those fans from when I was at the Alcorn State game, the Alcorn State homecoming game, that is, that was heckling me behind me, talking, it ain't over, it ain't over. Huh? That's when it's it ain't over till there ain't no more time left on the clock. Well, guys, guess what? Coach Hugh Jackson is letting us know right now, we just getting started. And he's getting started with bringing in this young man right here, none other than Mr. Juwan Singletary. Congratulations, Juwan Singletary, for joining the HBCU family and committing to Grammy State University. Coach Walker is look, definitely looking forward to seeing you do some phenomenal things out there on the field next season with Grant with the Grambling State Tigers. I got to come see this because I honestly believe this here is going to be action-packed with all of the signings that's going on right now amongst all of the HBCUs and the SWAC. This thing is getting nuts. If you got Coach Maynard over here doing his thing, you got the coach down at Texas Southern doing his thing. You got Coach Dancy over at Mississippi Valley State doing his thing. You got Dooley doing his thing over there at uh, Southern University. Still ain't heard much of nothing over there at Prairie View. It's been a little quiet, but I'm sure they're going to get this thing. They're going to right the ship and get it together. And none other, you got Alabama State. They try, hey, they making some noise as well. And I can't forget them, fam, you rattlers, because I know they're going to be like, hey, Coach, how you going to leave us out the bill, man? Hey, I'm not leaving y'all out to build, man. Sometimes you got, hey, sometimes you got to build it up and then bring it on home. But, guys, I know right now everybody's out there building their programs up to get these um, signees in. It's also these high school commits. They're looking to bring them in as well. So I'm waiting to see I'm waiting to see this thing pick up a little bit. Coach just want to know, can y'all start, can, can y'all just have another spring season right now? I mean, can, can we just get past the next 45 days and just start another spring season? Because like I said, you guys have spoiled me. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm spoiled from seeing the spring season last year, going all the way into starting the fall season, and then everybody out there having a good time doing their thing. So I, I, I can't wait to the fall. I'm just going to tell y'all that right now. I'm, I'm spoiled. Y'all did this to me. It's y'all fault. But I'm going to kick back and relax. I'm going to watch the, how the rest of this goes. I, have, I got more content coming for you. I had to make sure I could get everything together and make sure it was right for you today. But guys, look here. All I'm saying to you is this. Next season in the SWAC, it's going to be a flat-out battle for sure, week in and week out, and I can't wait to see it. But until next time, guys, if you like the content, please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get all upcoming videos. And remember, be the one and lead.